I'm here every day. It's another day and Teresa and Chad Rogers are here in the neonatal intensive care unit at Nationwide Children's Hospital where their twin girls live. To be exact, it's day 142. Emma with her first baby, so they call her baby A, and she was one pound nine ounces when she was born at 25 weeks. And then Callie is baby B, and she was um, one pound five ounces when she was born. Born nearly four months early. I would say the first, well, for six to eight weeks, it was completely day by day. Because like we were saying earlier about how it would turn on an instant. That we're in an isolate where you'd have to reach in and just put your hands on them, so we couldn't even touch the babies for weeks. This is not how we pictured starting our life with our two girls. And it became very clear very fast there might not be a life with their new girls. Both had a very serious lung condition, often seen in preemies, called bronchopulmonary dysplasia, or BPD. Because they were born so early, their little lungs just didn't have time to form properly. Teresa says the team here saved Emma and Callie's lives many times. One night in particular. I got a call at 1230 that, um, no matter what they could do for Emma, she would not she would not work on any breathing. They had to pretty much help her breathe the entire time, like manually help her breathe. It worked, and Emma got through that scary night. She's slowly progressing. It's nice to see you off the ventilator. Dr. Stephen Welty is chief of neonatology at Nationwide Children's Hospital, where there is a center for BPD, a specialized care center that helps babies like Emma and Callie. While the bad news is, is they have it, the good news is, is that they're going to spend two or three years developing new good lung if we do everything right, and ultimately their lung function will get better and improve. They'll come off the ventilator, they'll come off oxygen and go home. Now the girls are four months old. This is about the time they should have been born. Callie may go home soon. She's ahead of her sister on this breathing battle. It's still, it's still tough. Yeah. And it still makes you very, you know, it's emotional inside. Just You just want so bad to see Emma or Callie that, you know, and we have confidence that she will be there. Teresa does everything she can to help with the girls' care. This is a different kind of diaper change through all the wires. Nurse Heidi Schutte is always just within reach, but Teresa and Chad, like all parents, are encouraged to jump in. Even in the very beginning when parents are very scared because they're hooked up to all the different machines and all the different tubes, they still want to know what they could do. They listen to us. They know we're here a lot. We see a lot. They ask our questions. They ask our you know, just what we're seeing from the girls, and they kind of intertwine that to what they need to do with the girls themselves, so it's been, it's been great. The partnership has one goal, to get these precious little girls out of danger and home. And many days, it is a wild ride. It's an insane roller coaster. Yeah, it can change by minute, it can change by hours. You know, you kind of just are on that roller coaster. And you can come back towards the middle. The roller coaster continues to take the twins on another ride a few weeks later. Callie, who was on the fast track home, has had a setback. Her breathing grows weaker, and she needs more help. You can do it. While yeah. Emma takes a big step forward. Exactly. I think she's doing great. Do you? Yeah. Good. Her first bottle ever at five months of age. Her personal fan club is there to cheer her on. Hi. Yeah. Then Emma and Callie have a sisterly visit for only the second time in their lives. But that's something I think special about this nursery. We do look at the emotional and the, the cognitive and the, um, the, the bonding aspect of this, not just the physical, you know, let's just go in and do range of motion. Let's have them have that opportunity to touch each other, feel each other, and that's how babies learn. It's nice. It's nice. It's so it's, sweet it's together. Rare, but it's just awesome to be able yeah. to see that together. Another week goes by, and Callie has another setback. She's lethargic, and doctors are trying to figure out why she won't take a bottle. We're yeah. hoping even by next week be home, but it's just not yeah. quite there yet. Yeah. Another day on the NICU roller coaster comes to an end. A different view comes two days later in a new NICU room. Emma and Callie have moved to a floor for kids with lung problems just like theirs. It's an upgrade, a sign of progress. But Callie has taken another step back on her independent breathing. She needs more help. To us, yeah, it's hard to take and digest because you want them home as soon as possible. But I mean, I think it's something now that we've been here for so long, we're able to 
still take that information and not fall apart with it. Now they don't know when Callie will come home. Emma may be here until June, at yeah. least. To know the majority, you just kind of have, you have the baby, you go home in a few days, and life goes on, and you kind of deal with that. We've had to wait months and months, and we will have to wait even more months. It was a long road. It's all about these two girls and us together helping them, being yeah. in here day after day. Uh, again, the people are wonderful. Everything has been wonderful here. It's just the fact that we're in this every day. Yeah. And you just so want to get them both home and just kind of get on to that life and you just can't get it.